Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a look at how to load different sounds into a sampler called Real Samplematic 5000 or short RS5K in Reaper so that you can play all of the samples individually via your preferred MIDI instrument. Let's dive right in. For everyone who's followed my channel since almost like a year ago, I already created a video on that in November 2022. However, some things have changed, so I thought why not just retake this and with the release of this video, I'm going to take down the other video that was on my channel previously and doesn't work as expected anymore because, you know, the things that have changed. And um, I just want you to have the most up-to-date tutorial on how to do this on this channel, whenever possible. Now, to start, I've got a track in front of me, which got two items, a kick drum and a snare drum. And both of them originally got loaded from samples, so from WAV files, which I found on my system. And these are two items. The first one is the kick. One, eight. I select them with control left arrow, just for clarification. Let's play them. And the other one is the snare. It's the sixth. It's the second item. Let's play that. Great. So that's the snare drum. However, these are still items in Reaper. So that means they are currently instantiated on the track, but these are audio files. You cannot play them by the MIDI keyboard. If you wanted to place them onto the track in specific locations, then you would have to move them around, copy the items all over again and all this kind of stuff. But you are not independently able to play them via the MIDI keyboard, which is probably your preferred way if you're actually playing drums via the MIDI keyboard, finger drumming, or you're a keyboardist and you know how to play your keyboard or e-piano and you just want to, you know, fire away and just play an entire drum kit, which you've previously composed out of different samples via MIDI keyboard. That's currently not possible, but I will show you how to do this right now. What you need in order to get this up and going is Repack. Repack, and I previously created a video on this, which you can find in the info card or in the video description below this video, is a repository manager for Reaper. Now, all of this sounds rather fancy, right? But what this really is, is an extension which you can install into Reaper and it allows you to easily search through a lot of different helpful scripts that the community has provided for you to just install and use for whichever task you think you want to achieve in Reaper. And the video explains everything you need to know about installing this. Here's the short version. You just visit repack.com, which is R-E-A-P-A-C-K.com. You go there. Hit the download button, download for your appropriate system, depending if you're on Mac or on Windows. You install it into Reaper. The procedure can differ depending on the operating system. I'm pretty sure that on a Mac, you will have to allow the access to the file system. And afterwards, you will be able to find it in the extensions menu in Reaper. What you need to do is hit Alt-X on Windows, which will automatically open the extensions menu. You can also reach this via the menu bar. Let's do this. Just hit Alt once, and now let's hit Alt again. File sub menu Alt plus F. And we use right arrow quite a few times. Edit view inside of track option action extension sub menu Alt plus X. Here we go. That is the one. Repo mini device B. And in there you will find Repack in just a second. On a Mac, this would be the usual menu band access keys, the voiceover command that you use all the time, right? Now let's use down arrow. Repack sub menu R. And that is already what we want. Just go in there. Synchronize packages S. No. Nope. Rouse packages B. Yeah. So you have to press down arrow once, and that is the one that we actually need. We need to press enter on that. Rouse packages dialog filter. Edit blank. This is the search field, and we need to search for two different packages that we want to install. The first one would be a really long name, but there's one significant part in it which you can use to search for, and that is drum mode. So we will search for that. D R U M D R M space space mode. O D E. And now 
Repack will automatically search even without you pressing enter. So we can just tab through. Clear button, alt plus display, 2 slash 2023 packages, button, list. So we already know that we found two different packages out of 2,000 and something packages. So as soon as we reach the list, we will just use down arrow. Package, convert RS5K MIDI item into source-based audio items, drum mode, category, FX specific, version, 1.03, author, MPL, type, script, last update. May the 23rd, 2022, one of two. That is not the one. We want the next one. I, package, export selected items to RS5K instances on selected track, drum mode, category, FX specific, version, 1.18, author, MPL, type, script, last update, April the 2nd, 2023, two of two. That is the one that we need. The export selected items to RS5K instances on selected tracks, drum mode. This script is the one we want to install. Now, how to do this after selecting the script, which in your case won't read I because I stands for installed. I already have the script installed, but I will show you how you to install this. You just tab a few times. Select all button alt plus S. Nope. Unselect all button alt plus U. No. Actions button alt plus A. Yes, you want to select the actions button with this space bar. Select context menu menu. Which will open a context menu. Use down arrow. Reinstall V1.18R. And for me, reinstall is listed here, but you will find an install button. Use that and it will mark this package for installation, but it will not yet install it because the installation will happen as soon as you confirm this installation dialog via OK, which we will do in just a second. For now, let's hit install. Browse packages dialog. So we're back on the actions button, but we don't need this one right now. So we tap a little bit further. OK button alt plus O. We could hit OK here, but we are not yet done. We need to install an additional script, so we would just continue tapping. Cancel button alt plus C. No. Filter. Edit selected drum mode. So we are back in the filter, and that is where we need to, to be right now. So the second package that we need to install, because otherwise the drum mode script will not work, is various functions. And this is written with an underscore, so I would just spell it for you. It's V. V. Selection removed. A. A. R. R. I. I. O O U U S S underscore line F F U U N C N C T I T I O N O N and that will already be enough. Let's tab. Clear display one slash two thousand and twenty three packages button. Great. List I package various functions category functions version three point six four author MPL type script last update November the tenth twenty twenty three one of one. This is exactly the one. Now we will repeat all the steps that we've done earlier already. We tab. Select all button, select all actions, button alt plus In actions with space. Context menu menu. And here we've got. Reinstall v3.64r. Or for you it would be install. Hit that. We will get out of this menu by doing so. Browse. And now we can tab. OK button alt plus And hit OK. Unsafe. For you, a little dialog will pop open, which tells you the progress of the installation process and the confirmation dialog, which will, in the end, tell you the success of the installation process. And after doing that, you will be back in your main Reaper window, which is exactly where I am right now with one track. 118 hit kick, two items, pain. With two items, one being the kick and two being two the snare. So what we now need to do in order to Put those into RS5K, our Reaper internal sampler, and load them onto the MIDI keyboard is rather simple. We need to select both of the items. So let's go back to item one. one and now press, instead of control right arrow, we press control shift and right arrow, which is continuous selection. So we will select both items while selecting them. Two selected 16 hits there, that won't be 246%. Isn't that great? Now we hit F4, which is the actions list, where you can find all the actions that are currently available in Reaper, all the actions that come with Reaper, but also all the actions that we installed via external scripts, installed via Repack and manually and everything. So we will hit F4. Actions dialog filter section. Search filter edit blank. And we will just search for drum mode. D R U M space M O D E. And then use down arrow. List one list. And Here's what we find. Description. Script. MPL export selected items to RS5K instances on selected track. Drum mode. Dot Lua one of one. And that is exactly what we want to do. We hit enter on that. Export selected items to RS5K instances on selected track. Drum mode. Dialog. Set base pitch edit selected 60. Yep. And that is where we can configure our base pitch. So that is the pitch where RS5K will start to insert the items on. So by default it's 60, which is C4. So if we now 
confirm that, then our first node, our first item will be placed on C4, the next one will be placed in 61, which would be C sharp 4, the next one on 62, which is D4, and so on and so forth. If you want to pitch it an octave down because you want to start in C3, then put it to 48. If you want to put it an octave up, then go to 72, and so on and so forth. If you don't want to put it at 60 at all, like not on C, but on any other key, then you have to basically calculate where you and you want to start with. But for me, C4 is actually fine. So we just confirm 60 here. Two items removed. So we go get feedback, which is two items removed. It's a bit weird, this feedback. But now what we have here is one arm, 18, hit, hit one item. a track with just one item, right? And this is one slice loop, hit one zero percent. It's what is called a sliced loop. And this item always exists when doing this, but you actually don't need this. This is just a combination of all the items that we had selected merged into one singular item we can just drop that one item removed but on this track right now we do have an rs5k instance instantiated and this holds all the items that you want to play i can really quickly demonstrate you the success of our process by just hitting alt b which will open the virtual midi keyboard virtual mi and in there i'm now able to play my notes So this is it. I can now play freely all the notes, all the two items. I could have done the same thing with 10 items instead of two, and I would be able to play all of those in here. So this is definitely how it works. And it worked. So the only difference to the previous version, the previous iteration of the video was that the script names have changed. Previously, MPL, the developer of the script, had one entire package in addition to various functions, which contained all the RS5K scripts, which is called RS5K scripts. And this one contained all the different scripts, which were, I think, over 100 scripts. And now all of these are available individually by a repack, so you can only install the ones that you really need. If you want more than drum mode, it's probably worth just typing in MPL into the repack package manager and see what MPL has actually developed so that you can find the script which better suits your workflow. But this is how it works quite well for me. I can take whichever sounds and samples I have and place them onto a track and make it playable via MIDI keyboard really quickly and easily. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful content in the future. Check out my other older videos, which are older, but still great because they contain a lot of useful information for Reaper users, but especially with accessibility in mind. So if you rely on screen reading technology, then my videos might be something that can help you on your journey to becoming a better audio producer, composer, or whatever you desire with a toolbox like Reaper on your hands. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye-bye.